Good evening. At first at 10, Syrian refugees will be welcome in Madison. The Madison Common Council voted on the matter today, a move that comes weeks after Governor Walker strongly said the state would do exactly the opposite. Matthew Simon joins us live with details from downtown Madison tonight. Matthew. Michelle, Eric, nothing changes legally tonight for Syrian refugees in Madison, but Madison's Common Council says legal is not the point. The point is sending a message that if and when these Syrian refugees do end up here, they know they are welcome. I had been living in this country for 37 years. As a poem about citizenship struggles opened this Madison City Council meeting. Are my conditions. It was the message behind possibly one day making Syrian refugees Madison citizens. Motion carries. Iranian immigrant and council member Shiva Bidar Silov. My parents um, did um, leave the country because there was war. Felt was urgent for Madison to send. We need to really look at the bigger picture. We which is these are people that really are fleeing um, tragedy and um, war in their country. And we have really, I think, a social responsibility as a community to accept um, refugees. It's a statement of, of, of spirit. Even though that um, statement has no legal authority, Madison Mayor Paul Soglin says it is vital right now to show what he called Madison values. And I would hope that it's just the beginning of a discussion that will take us forward in the coming months so we get a better understanding. Understanding the mayor and council members say is necessary. I'm just concerned that the governor's attitude contributes to this dangerous uh, atmosphere. Since they cannot understand what the U.S.'s strict background checks why some like the governor have put out messages, concerns about some Syrian refugees possibly being tied to terrorism. I also um, feel really sad to see that immediately people scapegoat um, those who are actually trying to um, also flee and to, to try to find a safe place for themselves and for their families. And Mayor Sogland does not think there could be an eventual legal battle here in his view. Hey, the feds run all of this. Meantime, Governor Walker's spokesperson did not return our immediate request for comment, instead re-emphasizing previous statements about all of this, including statements urging President Obama to immediately stop and revise the Syrian relocation program. Michelle. All right, Matthew, uh, reporting live for us tonight. Matthew, thank you.